Hello friends! Um, this week I'm sending some love to my archaeology lovers because I have undeniably denied you guys of this information. I think it's really one of those fields that does get misunderstood and you really wouldn't think so. Um, it's like this Indiana Jones high action thing when that's not really the reality of what it is. So I'm really excited to break it down today. Now the first thing that you need to know when deciding to study archaeology or just understanding archaeology as a field is the fact that archaeology is actually a subgroup of anthropology. So within anthropology, I've said this a hundred times before, but there's four main subgroups. There's biology, linguistics, archaeology, and culture. Culture. I think people tend to think archaeology is its own thing and that it embodies all these different things when really because it's this subgroup of human science it's a lot more specific than you might expect. The other thing, I want you to know who your source is and I myself am an anthropology major and my focus is biological anthropology. With all of that said though, it is required that I take archaeology courses and know my stuff, so I'm still hoping that I can give you the best possible background and information that you need moving forward. Okay, so I have my laptop here and I want to share with you the like online definition that you're going to get. Um, I do this in all my little definition videos. I'll tell you this and then I'll break it down for you. Okay, so archaeology is the study of cultures that lived in the past. It is a subfield of anthropology, the study of human cultures. Now this point, like this online definition, is really explicitly connected to something that's honestly probably, the, at least the way I understand it, the core of archaeology. The core of archaeology, I think, is the idea that archaeology actually studies material culture. So this doesn't mean that you're studying fossils necessarily, or prehistoric, prehistoric, why is the only thing coming to my mind monsters? Prehistoric dinosaurs um, and all these different things. And I think it's really important to note that material culture is actually looking at a bowl, for example, that someone used in a culture a long, long time ago, or the materials that they used to build their house or the food that they were eating. Um, all of these things, these remnants that preserve in the archeological record are instances and examples of material culture and that is what you're going to be studying as an archaeologist. The next thing is the fact that archaeology is not always exciting. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, people think that you are going to be the next Indiana Jones and I think that if I was under that impression still, archaeology could be my subgroup, but it's not. Um, little anecdote here, on my first day of my first ever archaeology class, my freshman year of college, I went in there expecting like the coolest thing ever, okay? I was like, this is going to be awesome. People actually study this in real life. And I go there and the professor puts on the screen this image, okay, and I'm not kidding, it is a mound of dirt. And I'm kind of just like, where's he going with this? You know what I'm saying? And he's like, okay, class, like, what do you think this is? And so, you know, everyone's big lecture hall, get taking guesses, taking a stab at it. Everyone gets it wrong. What is it? It's a dump. He showed us a picture of a dump on the first day of class. And his whole thing was to prove to us that his job is not actually that exciting. And he studies trash. That's what he told us on the first day. And that when we learn about archaeology and what that means in the context of our history and the history of our ancestors and the things that we have in museums is that really we're often looking at trash. The reason that you're looking at trash is because there's a lot of things that people use on the day to day that get left behind or don't seem all that significant. Um, again, I keep using this example, but bowls that you use to cook your food or the food that you throw away when you finish a meal. If these things preserve, which I think it's something like 2% of things preserve and then within that it's like we found basically nothing. Um, it's kind of a ridiculous statistic as to what we have access to, but besides the point. What people leave behind, the trash, the tools they use to build their homes, the materials they use to build their homes, these are the things, while maybe insignificant now, they might seem insignificant now, they actually help us to get the most realistic understanding of what people's lives were like on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's what we want to understand. We don't want to understand these extravagant rituals for kings, necessarily. Think about how represented that's been in the archaeological record as compared to so many more people who just live regular lives. And you don't actually know what these cultures did every single day. I'm editing right now and I realize I made it sound 
like kings or like royals or something are less important and meaningful all i meant was that there's a lot of people like peasants or whoever that haven't really been represented um very well in the archaeological record and just in archaeology as a field um and i didn't explain that very well so my apologies so i'm sorry if i'm crushing your dreams as to uh, being the next indiana jones but um <laughs> that's often not what archaeology is the last thing that i want to say about archaeology in the way that you understand it is the fact that archaeology works really closely with the other disciplines of anthropology so biology culture by digging up these things you can actually help cultural anthropologists create a more clear history of whatever culture it is that they study now I wanna turn, pose the questions to you. If you want to study archeology span or you already have studied archeology span or you're currently start studying archeology, span what's your experience been? What have you learned? What have I missed? Uh, this community of anthropologists is all about helping each other out. So this is my take on it because of the things that I've been offered at my school, but you have a different experience and I want you to share that with your peers, with me. Um, so definitely leave those in the comment section down below. Um, the, I think this is the last thing. I, you I, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. 500 subscribers, guys. Like, I didn't know that there were 500 anthropologists in the world. It might just be me who sometimes feels isolated in this field. Sometimes it just, I don't know, it can feel like there's not that many of us out there. But 500 is a lot, whether that's your major or an interest of yours. I say we're all anthropologists. Okay, technically, if we're gonna get real, every person in the world is kind of an anthropologist because you know you're a person and you have to understand yourself so you know maybe that's getting technical maybe that's getting the opposite of technical i'm not really sure but i just wanted to say thank you and that's really not at all why i started this um but as i've gotten deeper into the process i've realized that we all kind of need each other um and to support each other and so many people have told me about anthro conferences and like job opportunities and it's just like thank you so much because as much as i provide information y'all provide information so um i don't know i think i think that's it um i have some exciting videos coming on internship hunting and what was the other one um oh midterms anthropology midterm season um someone recommended um like study tips and stuff all that fun stuff is coming okay so sorry about this end of video ramble that happens pretty much every time um but that is it on archaeology i hope you were having a fantastic day um you know what to do and yeah i'll see you all next sunday all right bye what was that okay for real bye <laughs>